went into this series on electronics at first PU level. It's quite interesting to know that even before electrical properties were discovered and deployed at domestic levels, magnetic property was the one that amazed the early humans. Yes, magnetism was discovered even before electricity. In this video, we will find out how magnetism was discovered as per available records and what was the natural reaction of mankind back then and how they put it to use. It is said that magnetism or rather the magnetic property was first felt by a shepherd. Well, the questions that follow would be who was this shepherd and which part of the world are we talking about? The shepherd was, the shepherd's name was Magnus and he was grazing his sheep at a place called Magnesia in northern Greece. And we are talking about more than 4,000 years ago. It so happened that the nails in his shoes got stuck to a rock while he was walking. And it was, uh, it made it difficult for him to climb the mountain. And that's when lodestone was discovered. Lodestone is naturally occurring magnet, an extremely rare form of the mineral magnetite. And there we have a natural permanent magnet. This tale of Magnus the shepherd boy discovering the lodestone was mentioned in a book Naturalist Historia written by Pliny the Elder who back then was a Roman author and a naturalist. Pliny further attributes the source of this information to Nicander of Colophon who was a Greek poet and physician. It was Nicander who had mentioned the discovery of magnetite named after the person Magnus or the place Magnesia at Mount Ida. It was during Pliny's time people had superstitious theories that ships that discover uh, disappeared into the sea would have been attracted to some unknown magnetic islands. In early 1000 BC, the Vikings put to use the magnetic property of lodestone to make a compass-like tool. The Viking sailors magnetized an iron needle, placed it into a piece of straw and floated it in a bowl of water. This would indicate the north and south. The Chinese developed the compass even before the Vikings did. Marco Polo brought the compass back to Italy, helping the other Europeans. But in China, lodestone was interestingly used for defense purpose. A Chinese emperor had his gates built with lodestone so that when the enemy soldiers near, their iron armors would get attracted to the gates. Clever military strategy, huh? Later, in 1269 AD, it was Petrus Peregrinus, a French scholar, who first documented the scientific properties of magnet and gave us the first dry compass. Around 400 years later, certain findings of William Gilbert made him the father of magnet. And how significant are his findings? Yes. The compass operation was known to many by then, but it was believed that the north-south alignment was because of the pole star or because of some unknown magnetic island far towards the north. But it was Gilbert who concluded from his experiments that the earth itself was one giant magnet. He was the one who first told us that the center of the earth was iron. Gilbert's contributions were so significant that to honor him, the unit of magnetomotive force is named after him. It was after 200 years that Hans Christian Ersted, a Danish 
physicist and chemist discovered the connection between electricity and magnetism when he observed that electric currents created magnetic fields. He demonstrated that the magnetic compass malfunctioned when brought near an electric wire. This was a landmark discovery and the machines like generators, motors, transformers, etc. exist only because of this discovery. And these machines help electricity reach your homes from the power generation stations. With this, we come to the end of this video. I hope it was a learning experience for you. If you like, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.